Hi graduates, it's Stella from Mipu University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Leaf from Weed City Games. Oh, hello! You're just in time! I am the forest wind spirit and here to guide you through the cycle of the seasons from the hot summer, the breezy autumn, and the cold winter so we can help the forest to grow with its habitats onto the next cycle the game plays two to four players with mechanics such as tile placement set collection and hand management the game is of light complexity in leaf you are the spirit of the wind playing cards to guide the placement of the leaves on the forest ground connecting the leaves to gain the actions growing groups of mushrooms and saving animals to gain the most points. On your turn, you play a leaf card from hand, take and place the corresponding leaf shape from the top of its supply deck to put in the shared play area. Each tip of a leaf already on the play area, which touches the tip of the leaf you just placed, gives you the action corresponding to the color of the existing leaf and stem counts too. There are five different actions. For example, green leaf gives you one leaf card for future turn and brown leaf moves your squirrel up on the tree, getting the bonuses. Then it goes to the next player. The other type of actions are yellow leaf gives you one sum token. You can spend three tokens to advance the season track to gain the bonus shown. Season track is also a way to advance the game because game and triggers when the winter line is crossed. When a stack of leaves is gone, you also advance the season track. The orange leaf gives you an animal card. You would want to collect sets of the same ones. Then, each time the season marker crosses this line, you get to hibernate one group of matching animals. The more in the group, the more points you score at the end of the game. Last but not least, the red leaf lets you add baby mushroom or grow your baby mushroom to big one yum hopefully edible mushrooms add one to any one leaf without your own mushroom but can be ones with other place mushrooms or grow one of your baby mushrooms flip the token your groups of connected grown mushrooms will score you points at the end of the game the more in the group the more points you get Let's see a leaf placement example. By placing this leaf here, you gain two cards, get two animal cards, and move your squirrel up once getting a sun token. When the season marker crosses this winter line, game and triggers. Ugh. Quick, save one more group of animals. Score your acorn tokens and tags, animals and connected mushroom groups. The player with the highest points has done an awesome job restoring the forest to the next season. Maybe even promoted to a supervisor win spirit and wins. So many possibilities, so little time. Players collectively drive the end game trigger, advance the season track. I mean, if you have three sun tokens, why not use them to gain a few acorns? The sooner you do it, the more acorns you get. And that's one point per acorn. But maybe at times you want to hold off doing that. Whenever the season track crosses the line, everyone gets to put away a group of matching animals. If you have yours ready, then do it. Or maybe you just need one more turn to get that matching animal that you need. Out of the action possibilities, gaining card action is important. You don't want to be caught without cards because you'll have to lose three points to draw two cards. There's also an incentive to place your mushrooms strategically rather than grouping them together. If another player places and touches a leaf with your mushroom on it, you may get one sun token, if your mushroom is the largest one on the leaf. Leaf is a calming tile placement game that has easy rules, but some thoughtful decisions need to be made each turn to maximize your points. So thanks for watching folks, check out the Leaf project page, I'll put the link in the description below.
The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not vinyl. You would help us by like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and comments below if you want me to make more of these videos. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hopefully, I will see you there too. See you next time. <sighs> Somebody has to clean this mess.